Tonight we're here from Eric Johnson, a very concerned dog lover. Eric, can you possibly tell me what happened? Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, well, we're in St James's Park here, which is where I always bring Hugo to go for a walk because he likes the um, geese and swans and stuff. And he um, he always likes to go to the toilet over there behind that tree. And um, don't worry, I do clear up. I am a conscientious dog lover. Just had to say that. Um, and so he always goes to the, the toilet behind that tree over there. And um, he went over and I turned my back because he actually gets stage fright, don't you? He gets stage fright if I watch, so I had to turn my back. So I turned my back and I, I heard this, this like yelp. And so I turned around and then it was just like... Pfft. Sorry, what was that? Like, pfft. and he wasn't there. He just wasn't there anymore. And, and, and I looked for him and he wasn't anywhere. And, and I, I thought maybe he'd been dog napped because there's a lot of dog napping going on around here at the moment. But it was, it was worse than that because he turned up at my house two days later and he had this this like tattoo on his side that's very strange eric have you noticed any side effects from the tattoo um yeah i have do you mind if i put him go ahead <clears throat> um yeah well he's uh he's much more energetic he tried to jump out of the the window in my flat and that's on the third floor denise it was really dangerous he seems like he thinks he's really cool or something he just Falls around in front of the mirror at home. And dogs shouldn't look at themselves in mirrors. He's just not the dog that I used to know, and I really want my old Hugo back, not this new one.